In this issue, ChatGPT4 Turbo, this is just space, new cool features in mid-journey. Uh, AI pin smartphone substitute is finally presented to the public. The first ever international agreement in the field of artificial intelligence security. Elon Musk made an announcement about his GPT offspring named Rock. Hello friends, these are Neuro News. This week has been extremely eventful and I truly cannot wait to share this with you. So make yourself comfortable. My name is Dimitri. We start. The killer smartphone AI pin, which we talked about in one of our previous episodes, was finally presented to the public by Humane Company. I remind you, this company was founded by former Apple employees, and the device itself is a screenless gadget that attaches to clothing. It has a speaker and a mini projector that broadcasts information onto any surface, including the palm of your hand. You can control the device with your voice, and in some cases with gestures. The main function of the device is to connect to artificial intelligence models. In simpler terms, it will be a voice chat GPT that you can access at any time and get a response. For example, it'll be easy to communicate with someone in another language by asking AI Pin to translate their speech for you. You can make calls or respond to messages with it. You can also receive information about any item you pay attention to using the gadget. Honestly, I still doubt that this will replace smartphones because how can you sit on Instagram with it? How can you take a selfie? How are you gonna play Call of Duty or Wild Rift with him? And you can't really sit on YouTube either. As they say, let's not argue ice cream taste with the untried. The device is $700, available for sale in January 2024. Then let's discuss. Then let's have a chat. How can we manage without updates on Elon Musk? The organization XAI is led by them. They recently announced the release of another groundbreaking chat GPT model. How irritating these headlines are. The big language model has been given the name Grok. In general, humor, wit and sarcasm really play a certain role here because Grok was inspired by the artificial intelligence from Douglas Adams' book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. By the way, I also have it readily available. Thus, Grok will reply to you with a certain level of cleverness and, as per Musk's declaration, will possess a defiant nature with a rebellious spirit. This person recently stated that he is afraid of the too rapid development of artificial intelligence and now he himself has created an AI with a rebellious spirit. Bravo. The main feature of Grok will be its information source, namely the social network X, also known as Twitter. And this is a crucial point, as it enables real-time information provision instead of relying on a date-limited database. Currently, Grok is in limited beta testing and only in the USA. After that, it will be available by subscription X Premium Plus for $1.16 per month. Major update came out for Midjourney. We tested it a little and are ready to share with you a review of the new features. In Midjourney, you can customize the style and it's very convenient. Using the slash tune command, we write a prompt for the desired images. Next, we follow the link where we are offered to choose the style that we want to get in the end. After that, we are given a code that can be used when generating subsequent images. And it's very convenient if you want to create a set of images in a specific style. It used to be really difficult to do this before because Midjourney always generated differently. Furthermore, an additional useful feature has been added, the ability to edit a specific section of the image. For instance, there's something extra in the final image and you want to remove it. Press this new button and select the area you want to replace it in. And uh, there you have it. This is precisely the thing that Midsorn was missing, so a big thank you goes out to the developers. The rapid development of AI technology could not go unnoticed by the influential and powerful individuals of this world. In the UK, an AI security summit occurred, with the main outcome being the signing of the Bletchley Declaration. The first international agreement on recognizing the risks associated with the development of artificial intelligence. The venue of the summit is quite symbolic. It was in the Bletchley Park mansion 70 years ago that Alan Turing cracked the Enigma code. Reps from 28 states took part in the summit. The main conclusion, strange as it may seem, is the necessity to control the development of AI so that a conditional Skynet doesn't unexpectedly emerge. However, there were no significant discussions about the precise method to do it, so they decided to meet again in a span of six months. Hope we aren't taken advantage of. 
Turbo presented by OpenAI CEO Sam Altman at Developer Conference. No exploitation during this time is our wish. And I will inform you straight up, there is actually an adequate amount of news to warrant a separate video. But here we will proceed to examine the key ones. So, context. They increased it to 128,000 tokens. This is equivalent to 300 pages of a book. The database has been updated until April 2023. And in addition to that, internet searching is available. GPT is announced, and I believe this is the most interesting. Now you can create your own version of ChatGPT and customize it as you need. Imagine you can make yourself friends and communicate with them as much as you want. And you can do all this only by text description without any line of code at all. Additionally, OpenAI has announced the launch of a store for these GPTs. That means if you create a bot that will be used by numerous other individuals, you will also receive payment for it. Like the App Store, but instead of apps in the GPT version, and something tells me this is what will explode the world of neural networks soon. Additionally, there were numerous positive developments specifically for developers who are working with APIs. But we won't go into these tickets today just because I'm not really good at programming. Friends, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Put a like on this video if you liked it. I remind you that we go out every week because every week in the world of neural networks and artificial intelligence, something interesting happens.